If you're trying to transition into tech in 2025 and land your first developer job, you've probably realized how overwhelming it is just trying to figure out where to start. You go on YouTube and everyone's telling you something different. Learn React first, just build projects, JavaScript is dead, focus on AI, and it leaves you more confused than when you even started. And the harsh truth is, if you follow the wrong advice, you could waste months, if not years of your life without ever getting job ready. And look, I know exactly what you're going through because I started from zero myself. No degree, no tech background, just stuck in a job that I hated until I found the roadmap that led me to my first developer job. And in this video, I want to show you exactly how I would learn JavaScript from scratch in 2025, step by step, and not just what to learn, but how to actually learn it in a way that moves you towards getting hired. What I'm going to teach you in this video is the same system I used to learn JavaScript and land my first tech job in under six months and work my way up to six figures without a degree. And the same system that I taught to dozens of my career changer students working in industries like finance, retail, warehouse, education, hospitality, to transition them into full-time tech jobs in just the span of a few months. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear roadmap on how to learn JavaScript from scratch and put yourself in a position to actually land a job. Let's dive straight in. So where exactly do you begin when it comes to learning JavaScript? Well, the first thing most people would do is dive straight into a 12 hour JavaScript YouTube tutorial and hope for the best. But this is a recipe for disaster. Through my own trial and error, I realized that mindlessly hopping from tutorial to tutorial is going to lead you nowhere except tutorial hell, where you watch and watch and watch, but make absolutely no progress. And that's why it's extremely important that before diving into learning not just JavaScript, but any programming language in general, that you actually have a solid learning framework or learning strategy in place. And there's probably a ton of different learning strategies that you've probably heard out there before, but I've come up with my own three step strategy that I use to learn any programming language and that I use to teach all of my students JavaScript and get them hired. And I call it the three X framework. And I'm going to walk you through how each step of this learning strategy works while also showing you how you can use it to not just learn JavaScript, but any programming language that you want to learn in the future. So the first stage of the three X framework is to start by watching a crash course. So the purpose of this stage is to start by giving you a broad understanding of all the theory you need to know about the particular programming language that you are learning. Just to be clear, by the end of the crash course, you're by no means meant to have a deep understanding or be super confident in everything. You're meant to just have a basic idea of how everything kind of works. So if you are learning JavaScript, which we are in this case, the first thing we would do is go to YouTube and search for a JavaScript crash course and watch any video of our choice. So just pick a crash course with the teaching style that works best for you. And then once you've picked your crash course, there's a few key guidelines that you need to keep in mind as you're going through the crash course to make sure that you're actually learning everything properly. And the first First of which is taking notes. So while you're watching the crash course, it's very important that you're actually taking notes on all of the key concepts that you are learning. And this is going to be good, not only because you can refer to these notes later on in a learning strategy whenever you get stuck, but just the fact that you're even summarizing the concepts that you are learning in your own words is really going to help you internalize the information better and commit it to long-term memory. Now, the second guideline you want to follow as you're going through the crash course is coding along. So while you're watching the crash course, it's very important that you're actually taking the time to code along with the instructor. Coding along and getting your hands dirty is going to make things stick so much better than just watching a video. Now, the third guideline you want to follow is doing the exercises. So throughout any crash courses, there's usually going to be a few exercises that the instructor tells you to go out and complete on your own. And it's really important that you're actually taking the time to pause the video and give these exercises a shot because these exercises are going to develop your critical thinking and get you used to writing code on your own. And now the fourth guideline you want to keep in mind as you're going through the crash course is rewinding the video. And what I mean by this is whenever you're stuck on something or you're struggling to understand a concept in a crash course, don't feel afraid to just rewind the video and rewatch the explanation. Because remember, the point of the crash course isn't for you to speed through it as quickly as possible. It's for you to build a basic understanding of the programming language or technology that you are learning, no matter how long that takes. So don't feel ashamed to 
move at your own pace. Rewind the video as many times as you need to. One, two, three, four, five, six times. As many times as you need to understand the concepts. So let's say you finished the crash course and you followed all of the guidelines that I walk you through. What most people would do at this stage is jump straight into trying to build a project on their own. But after just a single crash course, you won't be ready for that. Which is why when you try to do this, you always get stuck or your mind just goes completely blank. Instead, at this stage, what you need to do is start coding along with a few guided tutorial projects. And this is going to help you get an idea of how to actually use the theory in the crash course that you learned to build projects from scratch. And after you do a few of those, then you can have a shot at building something on your own. So again, if you were learning JavaScript, which we are, you'd go to YouTube and search for JavaScript tutorial projects, and you'd code along with any two or three guided projects of your choice. And now just like the crash course stage, there's a few key guidelines that you want to make sure you're following as you're going through the guided tutorial projects to make sure that you're really maximizing your learning. And the first of which is coding along. So if it wasn't obvious enough, you actually have to be coding along with the guided tutorial projects at this stage, because coding along is going to help you internalize all of the information that you're learning about how to build a project from scratch. So much better. Now, the second guideline is actually building ahead. And what I mean by this is once you gain a little bit of confidence after going to maybe the first or the second guided project, I actually recommend that you start trying to build the head of the project tutorial that you're following. Now, again, in your first guided project, you probably won't be confident enough to do this because you're just starting and getting the hang of how everything works. But again, around your second or third, you should be starting to feel a little bit more confident writing code on your own. And it's at this point that I want you to start pausing the video, coding ahead, and really developing that ability to write code independently. Now, the third guideline is adding your own twists. So if you're feeling ultra confident throughout the guided projects, you can even add your own twists or extra features to the guided projects to really push your knowledge. And once you finish all three guided projects, it's now time for the final stage of the 3X framework. But before we dive into that, if you're a career changer and this all feels super overwhelming and you'd rather follow a proven step-by-step -step system to break into tech and earn six figures. That's exactly what I help my students with in my coding bootcamp ASAP front end. I've helped dozens of career changers who are working in industries like retail, hospitality, physical labor, finance, education, land full-time six-figure tech jobs in just the span of a few months. So if that's something you're interested in, hit the first link in the description to apply. But right, now that we have that out of the way, let's get straight back into the video. So the third and final step stage of the 3x framework is going to be the solo project. So by this stage, you have learned all of the fundamentals of JavaScript through the crash course. And then you learn how those fundamentals can actually be applied in the real world to build projects with the guided projects. And now the final test to make sure you understand everything that you learned is to build a project on your own. So this stage is pretty self explanatory. You're going to throw yourself in the deep end and build out a project without the help of a guided tutorial. And this is going to let you know whether you actually understand JavaScript or you don't. And you're going to get your solo project idea from ChatGPT using the following prompt. I've just finished learning JavaScript. Give me a solo project idea that would really test my real world knowledge and captures everything I'd use it for in a real job. And if you can complete the solo project that ChatGPT spits out, congrats. You now know you have a solid understanding of the fundamentals of JavaScript. So now you've got a clear roadmap on everything you need to know to learn JavaScript from zero. But here's the thing. Learning the language is only the beginning. The real challenge for career changes isn't just how to learn. It's knowing what to do after that to actually land your first six figure job. And that's exactly what I want to help you with next. If you're a career changer and you want a step by step roadmap on exactly how to break into tech all the way from learning learning to building experience to how to handle interviews and obviously how to land job offers. I've actually put together a free one hour and 30 minute course that breaks down absolutely everything I know about how to break into tech. That video should be popping up on the screen somewhere now, and I highly recommend that you watch it next. But if you don't want to waste months or years of your life trying to figure this out on your own, and you'd rather have me guide you through this entire process personally, one on one, just book on a call with me with the first link in the description, and I'll show you exactly how my career changes students are able to transition into tech in the next three to six months guaranteed. Thank you for watching, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.